open up your Bitmoji classroom or your choice board or whatever it is you'd like to share, come up to file, go to publish to the web and click over to embed. Now from here, I find the medium size is a bit too big, but the small size is too small. So I like to go to custom and I'm going to try 750 pixels for the width. I think that should work. Um, and the height automatically adjusts to the appropriate size. And then I'm going to hit publish. And from here, I want to copy the embed code. Then I'm going to hop over to my Brightspace shell and I want to embed that Bitmoji Classroom kind of right here on the home page so that it's easy for students to navigate around and see it. So I'm going to go to Edit Course and Widgets and I want to create a new widget. Um, name could be anything. And then I'm going to save and then come over to content. And in here, I'm going to go to insert stuff and choose enter embed code. And right here, I'm going to paste that code that I copied from my Google slide earlier. And then I'll choose next. It'll show you a preview of what that will look like. And then I'll choose insert. And I'm going to save and close. Now from here, uh, if I go back to my course homepage, you'll see nothing is there yet because I've made the widget, but now I need to tell the widget to appear on my homepage. So I'm going to go back to edit course. And in home pages, I'm going to create a home page. Call it a name, whatever you like. Only you will see that. It's going to be a widget based homepage. You can choose whether or not you'd like the, he the header to appear and what the text should say on the header. You could do something really cool like welcome and then a curly bracket, first name, and it will actually greet the students by name, which is kind of cool. Layout, by default, you have this basic layout with a big space on the left and a sidebar on the right. I'm going to leave it like that, but you could change it to something else if you like. And then down here with widgets, you can see the two sides of your page. I'm going to add my Bitmoji Classroom here in the big area on the left. So I'm going to switch over to custom widget and you'll see it listed here, whatever you named it. So check it off and add it. So it will appear there. And then maybe here on the left, I want to have an area where I can post announcements and things like that. So I'm going to choose the news widget and add that there. You can see in those lists, there are tons and tons of other widgets, some of them pre-made, or you could make other custom widgets. So you can just keep customizing and adding more widgets. Once you have more than one in there, you can also drag and drop them and choose the order they should appear. But for now, I'll leave it with just those two. I'm going to save and close. And then right here, you have to choose which home page should be the one that actually appears. Right now it's the default, but I want to click here and I want to choose the new one that I just made and apply. And then when I go back to my course home, I'm going to see my Bitmoji Classroom and my area for news. Now I am noticing it is cutting it off just a little bit. So earlier when I chose 750 as my width, I probably should have gone with 725 or even 700 and then it wouldn't cut it off like that. So I could fix that, but you get the idea. And then you can see right here, it actually welcomes me by name, which is kind of cool. So that's how you add your Bitmoji Classroom in here. Now there's one other tweak I like to do, and that is I don't want this title to necessarily appear for my students, so I can click the little down arrow, style this widget. I don't have to display the title, 
And I also don't have to display the box around the container. So I'm gonna actually get rid of the box and get rid of the title and save. And now there you go, actually it all it fits perfectly now at the at that width because I got rid of that box. So from here, students can click around and get to those different things in your Bitmoji classroom. And yeah, that's how that works.